Okay, so now coming on to the second example, after we've seen how you can use AI agents for data consolidation, now we'll be seeing another use case where we will be building an agent for automating formula generation, formula debugging, and formula optimization, right? So the purpose of this agent will be that it will generate formulas for you. It will provide you explanations for any advanced formulas that you want to be generated based on the instructions that you give it. So let's say that you define a task. You say, I want to perform this and this task inside Excel. Let's say you want to calculate commissions. You want to calculate discounts. You want to do any advanced tasks such as VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP and you don't know the exact formula and you don't have a lot of time to do that. So you can use this agent to save time in generating formulas and even updating your current data with the formula data, right? So it can generate the formula for you. It can provide you with the final output with the generated formula and it can save you a lot of time using that. So for this purpose, we have this agent in front of us and what we're gonna be doing is that uh, instead of building this agent from scratch, which is pretty much the same workflow as before, I'll be showing you quickly the prompt that we've used because that's the only thing that's different about this agent. So in this prompt, what I've said is that I'm going to magnify this. I'm going to say act as a formula uh, generation, debugging and optimization agent, specializing in assisting users with Excel formulas for their specific needs, including generating new formulas, debugging and optimizing existing ones with an Excel data provided by them. So what we're saying is that your job is to work with formulas, right? Your job is to generate them, debug them and optimize them, right? And then we're saying that your task is to help users generating formulas, debugging or optimizing the existing ones in an Excel data they provide in JSON.chat input, which is obviously the previous input that has been provided to you, uh, provided to the agent by you. So if requested, apply these formulas to accomplish specific tasks related to data within the Excel data and provide the output in a tabular format that can be copied in Excel. So it's gonna uh, provide a table uh, including the data if you request it that you know apply this formula and provide me with updated data so it will generate a table for that and then there are specific information related to how the data should be processed and examples have been given I want you to calculate discounts for each product in the Excel file and add your output to the discounts column the answer is going to be generating the right formula to achieve the task and adding the output in the specified fields so these are just a few examples uh, for the agent to understand what would be expected of it. Then we have other notes information, which is just the revision of the previous instructions. Okay, so once we've understood this, this is pretty much the same workflow. It has the same memory node, the same chat node, and the same uh, LLM node. So there's nothing different about it. So we're gonna quickly test it out by using this formula generation sheet that I've created. And this basically includes three different sheets. One is for calculating commissions, and I basically want to update this commission amount and performance status based on the commission rates and the target sales uh, figures provided here. The second one is for discounts in which I want to update the discount percentage and final price by performing an X lookup on this table, which contains the discount percentages for each discount code, which is provided here. Then the third one is for working days. Let's say that you have employees and you want to calculate how many working days they have missed. So we'll apply the formula for start date and end date and calculate how many days were missed. So we won't be doing all this stuff. We will basically copy uh, all this data one by one inside Excel. And I will label this as commission. And I will basically paste this here. Then I will go down and I will copy the data for discounts, right? And I will go to the second one and I will copy the discounts data. I will bring it inside Notepad again and I will paste this again here. And then I will go down and I will do the same for working days. And like this, I will have three different sheets data that I want it to process one by one and produce the updated output. For the formulas right so not only will it generate the formulas for you that you can copy inside excel and will also update the tables so i'm going to copy this data from here and i will go back and then i will go here and i will copy this url i will go here and paste it here and this is where we'll be interacting with the agent right and this is where we're going to be asking it questions about okay how to interact with the data. 
So in the meantime, this is loading up. <coughs> okay, so this is loading up real quick. Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna paste all this data. I'm gonna go back, uh, paste this data again, copy this, paste it here. And I'm going to be giving it this instruction that I want you to follow whenever you are providing data for formula generation. I will say, I want you to calculate commissions for the commissions uh, data. Okay, then I'll say discounts for the discounts uh, data and working days for the working days data using the appropriate formulas okay so after saying that I can also specify that update each table each tables columns after performing the calculations okay so I'm saying that you have to update uh, the the columns of each table by performing the calculations right so once I say this I can also specify that the commissions the commissions will be calculated based on the average sales of the two quarters and and the performance status is determined based on the target sales okay so I'm just specifying this just in case the agent does not understand how the commissions or the performance status is determined okay everything else will be pretty much the same so I give this instruction to the agent and let's see if it's able to understand what it has to produce and okay here it is so it has updated the formulas and not only that it has also provided the formulas that it has applied here so the updated uh, tables have these formulas applied let's say for commission amount it has applied the average formula for the quarterly sales of C2 and D2 and it is saying that if if this average is above or greater than E2, then you know use this formula for performance status. It has done the same for the South region and East region. It has multiplied them with the commission rates here in the F column and then uh, calculated the performance status based on that. Then going on to the discounts table, it has calculated the final price based on the base price multiplied with the discount code, which it has obtained from the VLOOKUP formula. Then it has also the, calculated the working tables, the working days table based on the network days formula by using the start date and end date formulas. So I haven't provided it with any formulas, but it has done this thing by itself. So what we can do is that we can copy this one by one and let's go back to the commissions table and I'm going to clear the contents and let's see if it's able to produce the outputs correctly using these formulas. So I'm going to be pasting this out here and here it is. So it has updated the commission amount. So the first one is 7,000. It's saying the performance status is not achieved since the average sales is lower than the target sales. Then the same goes for the second one at 95,000 is the average sales. It's lower than 100,000. It's not achieved. And the same goes for the third one. It's 120,000. This has not been achieved either. So it's correctly calculated calculating the performance status now for the commission rate and commission amount you can see that this was calculated based on the average sales which was uh, 105,000 plus 90,000 divided by 2 that would be around 47,500 multiplied by 4.5 percent so it's applied the right formulas right so like this it is able to not only produce the formulas but also update each of the columns now, now let's go to the discounts table let's update the discounts table with these formulas and let's see what it produces then so I'm gonna clear the contents of this and then paste the output here here it is now if you want 
wait a second, what I'm going to do is instead of copying the full thing, I'm simply going to remove this content from here and just copy this part, right, the final price. Because I don't want the code or the other part because that was part of the VLOOKUP, right? So we can simply copy this here and go back and then paste it and then just remove these two columns because we already have it here, right? Now, since it is, okay, so I think we'll have to use it. So then what we can do is we can delete this from here because we no longer need it, right? So like this, it is able to update the final price based on these codes. So we can see that the, okay, so the code for this has been moved. So I'm going to manually type in myself. Probably there was an issue in the copying part. So I'm going to say 12%. And it has calculated it based on that. So it was 12% here too. It's pretty much the same, right? So now you can see that it's able to update the discounts table two. And lastly, we're going to do the same for working table. I'm going to go down and copy this working table and bring it back in Excel, clear the contents from here, and then paste it from the agent. And like this, it has calculated the working days and the missed days. So the working days uh, obviously will be zero since we're not calculating working days, we're calculating the missed days. So the missed days were calculated based on the difference of start date and end date. And the same goes for these days and the same goes for these days, right? So we can also do this calculation ourselves that, you know, uh, how many days were part of the working days and how many days were part of the leave days based on the formulas that it has provided, right? So now if you want any assistance in understanding any of these formulas that it has produced, for example, I want to understand the working days formula. So I can say, please explain, please explain the working days formula. Okay, so I can always ask it to explain any of the formulas that I want. Okay. Please explain the working days formula and then it's going to explain it to you how it was able to come to that conclusion, right? So here it is. It has said certainly the working days formula I used is network days, start date, end date minus leave days, right? So here's what each part does. The first part was network days, start date, end date. This function calculates the number of working days, typically Monday through Friday, between the start date and end date inclusive. It automatically excludes weekends. So it's using the network days formula, which is basically the business days formulas. So let's say that you have five working days, Monday to Friday. It uses that and finds how many working days are coming between the start date and end date. And that is taken as the days that the person has worked. Then it, mine, it deducts the leave days out of this. So then we only have the actual approved working days, right? Then it uses this formula and says that if approved, if the leave was approved, then you have to update the leave days with it, right? Uh, it will use the leave days and then update it for uh, the missed days. Then is, this means if the leave was approved, approved is true, the missed days count equals leave days, otherwise it's zero. So what it means is that if the leave was approved, for example, in this example, the leave was approved and leave days were eight, right? And the difference between start date and end date when it comes to network days is eight days, right? So it minus it, it deducts eight minus eight, which is zero working days. So all the days are considered as missed, right? The same goes for this one here. The, uh, the leave was not approved and you took three uh, leave days. That means that th this was considered as part of the leave, right? So we can also say that you know, you can guide us step by step. So you say, please guide step by step for this formula. So I can say, please guide step by step for this formula so I can better understand how it was able to come to this conclusion. Because for the discounts and for the commissions table, I was able to understand. But let's say I want more explanation on how it was able to do it for the working days. Here it is. So first of all, you got to open your Excel file with the working days table. Identify the column, start days in column B, end date is in column C, leave days is in column D, approved is in column E. So then it says to add this formula in the first cell. So for example, that we add this formula here in F2 where it was, and then it's saying 
you can calculate the working days missed based on this formula, right? Then it says that select cell F2 again, and then basically just copy it down to all the other columns, and then it will basically do the same for all the other columns. And then it's saying then enter the missed formula, and then you can use this missed formula too to calculate the working days missed, right? So this one is for the working days, and this one is for the missed days. So this is how it's basically calculating the working days and working days missed, right? Then you can always verify that the working days and missed days reflect correctly for each employee. So it's really important to always check that these days are correctly being calculated and there is no error, right? So this is how you can start using this agent for not only you know, producing all these tables with the updated formulas, you can even ask it questions about each formula, how it was able to come to that conclusion, and even debug your own formulas, okay? So let's say that you give it a wrong, you produce a wrong formula inside Excel, you can simply copy that formula here, and then give it to the agent, and it will fix that formula for you too, right? So this is part of your assignment. Any formula that you're stuck with, you can give the explanation for it here and what you expect the formula to do and then it will produce the updated formula for you or if you want you can give it the instruction and it can also generate the formula for you, right? So this is another way of interacting with this agent. So this was the second use case.